everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Crate and we are working on page 12, page 12. Okay, so we've got a belly band that is four and a quarter by seven. You're gonna score a half inch on um, the top and bottom of the belly band. And so that would be a half inch and six and a half inches across the seven inch side. And we're gonna center it. So I've already put my little center line for the pocket page and my center line for the belly band. And I did some dry fitting before I turned the camera on. Pretty straightforward page. There we go. And then we have two flaps, four and a quarter by six, and then this one is four and one eighth by six. It's going to fit underneath, and they are both going to go on the edges of the belly band. I'm putting the larger one. The four and a quarter one, I'm just making sure it doesn't stick out past the belly band, uh, is going to go on the right hand side, which is the opposite of page one, just so you know. And it's not that critical since it's going to cover the whole panel. It won't be very easy to tell which way it opens. Um, it looks like I need to take a swing off. Good. And it's going right on the edge of this belly band, which I know is difficult to see. Black on black. Okay, and then the shorter of the two. bit off of the height. Let's see if that did. It was just a little bit off. Yeah. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, now we need uh, some magnets. To hold everything closed. Oh, and then the last thing we're going to do is um, add an insert into the belly band, and it is going to be five by seven. Okay, I need to write that down. And that's going to slide right in here. And that is page 12. Okay, so you've got these panels that open left, right. And then you've got your um, belly band insert. And that's page 12. Uh, next time you sit down, we will decorate. Hey, everybody, it's Daphne. And we are working on page 12, which is the same as page 1, if you recall. So we've got a five by seven insert, which we'll go ahead and do first. 
I'm really loving this paper, guys. It's so pretty. On this project, I think it turned out good. It's fun. The box is really nice. I I like the way how, how substantial it feels. So I'm liking this project. I'll probably do some more. Maybe another book like this, but um, for now I'm really enjoying this. Okay, so this is our cover. <clears throat> While I was away, I inked everything. This is from, oh, this is from the 8x8. Sometimes I forget to tell you guys. But if you send me a note in the comments, I can I can refresh you, but I believe this is from the 8x8. But it's... Um, I also think the larger scale would look good here, too. So it's just a preference. And then um, this is from the Patterns and Solids. And I can't remember if, if the stripe is... It's from the Patterns and Solids also. Okay. So uh, that's gonna. this is the piece that goes under the belly band. And just like on page one, I did two... Uh, two inch strips and then filled the center piece with black so we wouldn't have to use all the um, I mean you could use just a continuous piece but that way it's preserved for a four by six panel uh, somewhere else in the book so I am going to place it and then I'm going to reach in I'm going to hold it I learned a little bit from the first time sorry about my dog um, I'm home alone and she <laughs> She seems to get a little bit more protective. Anyways, I'm going to place it where it belongs, hold it in place, lift it up, and reach in with my um, pick tool, which um, is a cutting tool. I, my silhouette, um, it's a weeding tool is what it is. Anyways, I'm reaching in to pull the tape off, and it shifted on me, of where I taped the pieces of paper together. I'm going to hold it back down in place or try to now I'm going to pull the tape off and then add my glue and then we'll do the same thing the other side's easier because this side will be stuck in place so you don't have to worry about it shifting there we go so once we have this burnished into place the other side's going to be a piece of cake <clears throat> and I do, I put it, uh, the black piece in the middle because as you do an insert, if, if everything's not on the same plane, um, it'll get hung up as you're putting it in and out. So that is the purpose. Now the other way to do it, if you don't want to deal with all this tape and whatnot, is just have a continuous piece of paper of the stripe. And then you just slide it in and glue the edges. You don't really need glue across the middle, you just need glue on the outside edges. That's going to hold it fine. It won't shift. And that way you don't have to worry about dragging glue across the, the, the center of the page. This is easy enough. You just got to have a little patience. And a, a hook or pick tool. It's The tape is, to, is back past this edge. So you really do need something that will reach in and grab it. All right, looking good. Okay, I had it upside down. Okay, there we go. Now let's do the inside. This is what I've chosen. And I do have everything inked. So here's my centerpiece. Mm. This is from the collection, the 12 by 12 collection pack. I know it's not a pattern in solid because it would have a pattern on one side and it would look like this on the other, uh, closer to a solid. So it's definitely from the collection pack and I'm hemming and hawing because I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's from the 12 by 12, not the 8 by 8. Okay. Now again, these two uh, flaps are not exactly the same size. So as you trim your paper out, Make sure um, when you sit down to actually glue them down that you don't get them flopped. Of course, I do everything in advance. You guys might cut and glue so you don't have to worry about mixing up your panels. Okay. 
this is definitely patterns and solids. There we go. Looking good. These go together so quickly. Of course, there's no color blocking. That's a big part of it. When you're just covering a panel, that goes pretty quick. And this is our last piece. It's going to go on this cover, just like so. Well, I hope everybody's having a good day, evening, depending on what time you're watching. It is evening for me, and I'm way behind on projects. So I'm trying to get this all done in the next day or two, which would be Monday or Tuesday for you guys. <clears throat> it out it got a little bit of a, a curl on it and if I have some paper left over in the end I may uh, flip it over and dress the back side of that so here we are with page 12 and then here's our insert so it's kind of nice so you got a five by seven a four by six 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 so five four by sixes and depending on if you want to dress this or not and then a five by seven two five by sevens isn't that nice? That's it for page 12. 